Folks, how y'all doing tonight? So we're here for season six. Season six. Be, you know what? Can't wait till season sixty. But <laughs> tonight we're doing a dish called uh, split steak, another forgotten pleasure. We bought only the finest meat, good old fashioned cube steak. I could have made it tender, but you know what? I'm working on somebody else's budget right now. He's not paying the bill yet, but he will be soon. Waiting for that application, so brother. Yeah. Send it in, brother. So we got our basic mise en place, which I'm about to get started. I got some, making Swiss steak. Key ingredient, of course, is steak. Number two would be the nice onions. That's we got really big onions. Ooh, yes, I love Always onions. Always like mushrooms. Dick's gonna pick out the uh, nice button to put in the... Ooh, I thought I did. He did, I hit I it. think I it should it. be... Nope, that wasn't it, that wasn't it. That wasn't it? Nope, I'm looking right at it. Nope, Hold on, nope. hold on. There there this one? Yep, that was the one. That's a nice button. All right, we're good. So, it's going to take hole. me about 10 minutes to get all this ready to go. Y'all bear with me. We'll see you in no time at all. Sorry, folks. I got ahead of myself and I forgot. I told you the dish, Swiss steak. We're focusing on steak. Another key ingredient, onions. But we're actually going to do a full meal deal tonight. Four course, right? Four course meal tonight. So, we're going to have Swiss steak. Finely roasted red potatoes like you ain't never seen in your life. Trust me. And... We're gonna have some sauteed zucchini. And of course, we're gonna break some bread when it's time to eat with the soft butter, as always. Soft butter, baby. So, uh, sorry I forgot to explain earlier, but we'll see y'all again in like, no time at all. Hey, you no, hold on. What's the fire for? Because I'm gonna dredge the steak, Vic. Oh, okay. I'm gonna dredge it. Dredge okay. it, remember that word? Dredge. Dredge. I'm not gonna smother the steak. I'm gonna season it up. I got some Tony Z's like I told y'all I would. Ooh. I gotta get my Zanarans out of the. Uh, and, and what are these other room. spices, brother? Well, of course. Crack know black. The first one. Crack black, baby. McCormick's crack black pepper. A little bit or a lot of justice. Thank you, Pansies. And thank you, Pansies and Jen, for the minced garlic. All right. Lemon for the zucchini. Gonna get my maison place together. It's gonna take no time at all to cook, but I mean, as far as cooking the meat goes, it's gonna take a while. So you're gonna be, even though you're not gonna be with us for as long as we're gonna be together, it's gonna be a very good meal. Looking forward to it. See you in no time. Yes, sir, I wouldn't even. All right, uh, trying to sh show you folks here back again. Uh, again, not trying to bore you, just trying to show you something safe and easy and very efficient. You wanna make the the most out of what you got as is what we do right steve that's how we do it hey ron i ain't seen you for two weeks bro it's not like you you always come out and say hi hope you're doing all right brother hope i see you tomorrow be praying that i do so you take your onion as you saw i cut it in half sorry folks gotta make room break bread I got a lot going on right here so smash your onion always make things flat Always have a sharp knife, as I showed you how to sharpen your knife earlier. And go thin for the win. That's all I wanted to show you. All right. See you in a minute. We'll be back. All right, all right folks, we're back again because it's going to take a while to caramelize these onions. Because as so you see, we have a lot of onions. How much uh, butter do you put in there? How much butter? Not that much. Yeah, okay. Probably about uh, three half, tablespoons. Yeah, half a stick, maybe two tablespoons. But either way, as you saw, nice julienne. Break these onions up. Let me hold that for you. Because the pan, as you notice, even though the pan is hot, you got to get you some of that Nordic ware. It's only in Minnesota, as far as I know. So get that Nordic ware. They make great butt cake pans. They make great everything. Paella pans, even though I'm not making paella, as I have it since episode one. If y'all notice, I'm pretty sure I've used this pan every week. Yeah. Because as you know, I like doing the one pot method, even though tonight I'm making four courses. So it's going to be hard to do four courses in one pot. Yeah. So I'm going to let them onions sweat out a little bit. Caramelize. Do, do what they got to do as they're doing. And it's always better whenever you're cooking. There we go. Okay, so we're, we're having... Swiss steak. Swiss steak. Wait till you see how I cook these red potatoes. The smaller the red potato you get, the more tender, 
flavorful it's going to be. So we bought the good ones because I'm working on that one dude's budget. And I got Roma tomatoes left over from our carbonara dish last week, which is going to be perfect because you want to stew your Romas up a little bit. By the way, you should watch that if you haven't. Watch them all. They're all good. Last week's was really good. It was me. Greg was over here playing guitar. Guitar. The show. Harmonica. Like, oh, I thought singing. it was your show. All dude was doing was jamming on your guitar. His guitar. You better come see it. Well, you know what? Next week, as a matter of fact, my good Indian friend, Kelly Tohani, stopped by the other day. She's got an Indian, authentic Indian flatbread taco stand, which you can guarantee it's the only one in Colorado Springs. You want to go to Oklahoma and try it out? She sets up down there on Platte and Wooten, so we're going to go try to... She said she would, but I know Kelly, so... But the game plan is we're going to go see Kelly next week. She's going to show us how to make some flatbread tacos, some reservation hot dogs, <laughs> and some NDN burgers. NDN. NDN. You know what the hell I'm talking about. So, I'm just going to rough chop these Romas. Because they're going to break down. I mean... Rustic. This dish is going to take about... Already I've been working about, maybe, because I'm slacking. They said I was slacking. Been working about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. About there, though. They didn't understand about the onions. They gotta cook, eh? And, and what about the steak? Oh, I forgot again. Vic, tell them, it's not out on the table, but... We have steak. And what no. is it? Cube steak? The number one ingredient, Vic. Oh, TLC. 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 So right I now, got it this week. I'm gonna stop. He's figuring things out, folks, believe it or not. And then it's uh, Crack Black. Number two. <laughs> Number three, Vic? Oh, shoot. Come is on. It, is it... Uh... Nope, nope, nope. Oh, man. That always comes last. That always comes last. Oh, okay, it's got to be garlic then. Not even or Penzies? No. Is it what? Justice. Justice. Penzies. That's Penzies. And no matter what I'm cooking, I told y'all to get some more Tony Z's. Because I love me some Tony Z's. Ooh, look at that. I like, I like to season up my onions. As I season up everything. Just a wee bit. Yeah, not too heavy yet because we're going to go strong pretty soon. Oh, and what about this uh, Marsala? That's going to come later. I mean, normally in Swiss steak you're going to use red wine, but when we made chicken Marsala, we still got half a bottle left. so we put... Might as well use it. Check out our buddy, Big George. Oh, man. He's double fisting tonight. Half the wild turkey's gone. The whistler, George. Ooh. You better be ready for dinner, bro, or you're going to have a bad hangover tomorrow. Brother's drinking. Slow down, George. Let's put a little justice in there. Never enough justice. Never enough justice. Thanks, Jan. That's true for real life, too. Yeah, that's what it's called. That's what I call it. Now. Never enough justice, baby. Life. You know I like my Zatarans. So I'm gonna add some zat around. Wait till you see these. A little onions. bit more. I can already smell the onions on the bottom are like just doing their thing. Yeah, that's fantastic smelling. And oh, let's go with some of this first. Vic, playing around with the food. Look, you let me cook one time. That was one time. Oh, what's that? Salt. A little salt. About a about a teaspoon of salt, y'all. A little, more. A little bit more. Teaspoon and a half. Yeah. And number one. Thank you, McCormick. You make the best black pepper up. Oh, you know that's what? number two. I have not tried Penzi's black pepper yet, but it's not cracked. But I'm going to try it on, on another dish. It used to be cracked. I did, yeah. At one time <laughs> it was, and now it's a little bit ground. But I like to use a uh, mortar and pestle for my uh, peppercorns. I'll bring it over, Vic. We'll use that next time. Okay, I will. All right. I think that'll be cool. Finishing up the onions. Well, it looks Not like a tomato. It's a tomato. I need to go over there. <laughs> finishing up themselves. So I'm getting my maison place together. I'm not going to uh, put my paring knife away. Mm. I'm not done with it yet. Look at those gems. We're going to always rinse your potatoes off, folks. Yeah, you don't want none of that worm poop. But never, ever rinse off your fungi. Your boomers. Your don't mushroom. don't rinse your mushroom, Never folks. Never rinse your mushroom, but always rinse your potatoes. And like I said, I'm going to cook them real slow, so I'm just barely dicing them at all, because they got all day to cook. 
Too bad Vic don't. But he'll find time. Maybe one day. Just to have water going over them real slow. Clean them off. Rough chop, as always. You ain't gotta be perfect. Nobody's perfect except Jesus. He's here, but he's not helping me out. You know what, Jesus? Come cook with his brother. No, you know what, Jesus is always helping us out. He's helping us, but not cooking. I bet he cooked <laughs> his butt off. I tell you that. Oh, I bet. Throw you up some lamb steaks like you ain't never had. So yeah, I'm just cleaning off the potatoes. Gonna let them set in the water. Just me and Vic tonight, guys. Nobody else wanted to come. Where's all the special guests at? Ron, where you at? Joe, Steve, join us one night. Oh, and we'd love to have Greg back. That Greg. Music, that music was phenomenal. You better be back next week, bro. Well, unless we go to Kelly's fan. If you guys haven't seen that yet, we have a uh, pretty much live music with a. Uh, Not pretty much. We had live music. It was live week. for us. It was like our, our yeah, last episode, yeah. episode five, Loki, L O K I. You gotta watch it. It's wonderful. Watch them all. And the spam fried rice was so good. And believe it or not, this is going to be the dish, best tasting dish I've cooked yet. So Steve. You said you tried the Marcella. You were wondering about Demi Glaze. As I said, go to Whole Foods, get some powdered Demi. Even though it's an easy way out, it's a very good product. And uh, paste You'll is always it. better, right? Yeah. If you can you, find the you, paste. You can get powdered, but I found paste today. Oh, look at that. So the onions are, uh, yeah, like I said, it's always water, baby. Oh, baby. It's always like water. So they're doing their thing. I'd like to crank them up, but I'm running low on oil and I'm using butter tonight. Yep. And don't really want to burn it. And I didn't bring any butter. Vic never brings butter. I mean, uh, oil. <laughs> Vic oh, he brought sesame oil last week. Yeah. Need a little bit more butter. Soft butter. Baby. As always. Well, not soft and enough I, yet. I didn't get it out fast enough. No, I told. I was taking a shower. I said, Vic, get the butter out. And he saw butter. It's still chilled. But it's going to be perfect. We don't need it yet, so it's all right. Like I said, this dish is going to have to braise for about a good hour. The potatoes rinsed off. My maison floss is pretty much together. Well, we still uh, got this I big gotta, boy. Look at this. Michelle, thank you. My boss mm. said, Ron, I grew this just for you. And I was like, that's pretty fitty. Here. So let's, gonna, let's get a size on that. Oh, Lord. $10 bill? Jeez. Oh, my goodness. And we're not gonna, that. We're not going to use nowhere near. No eggplant needed. Done with the paring knife. All right. Paring knife is going away. Masia, I'm going to have a half of this zucchini left over, girl. We, we should want, make bread. We want zucchini bread, Masia. Yes. Don't forget. Wonderful. Herbie. Thanks for coming to see us today. I don't want to mess it up. Alicia, Alicia, if I forgot your names, I forgot. Thanks for coming out. You got me to come over and break bread with us one night. Yeah. Would be a great meal. And I can't wait to break bread. Look what, oh, it's going to be so it's good mopping up it. Righteous Ron always breaks the red. Yep, Righteous so Ron. We got our flowers sitting here. As I'm showing you what I'm doing as the onions are cooking. A little bit of Tony's in there. Tony Z's, baby. Probably about, uh, looks like two teaspoons. Yeah, so far. Teaspoons, not say tablespoon. Uh, no, maybe one tablespoon. Right there. Minced garlic, folks, which we ain't done with yet. Add to taste however much you want. Just the garlic is beautiful. Salt because Tony Z's got plenty of salt in it. Yep. <coughs> hey, so. Got my, uh, Zatarans. That ain't that's correct. That's correct. I'm a Zatarans over there. George, quit, give me your whiskey. George, slip me a rupee. <laughs> Son of a gun, you. As always, McCormick, thank you. Fit plenty of fresh crock black pepper. Never enough. And uh, around here, we cook in socks. And crosses. And crosses. And long hair. And Everything Kung, is out there. Kung Fu Chef outfits. Thanks, bro. How do I fix this? I don't know. 
I've been cooking for 40 years, and I've never... What's his name could probably explain this to me? He's a foo-foo. <laughs> and I would definitely call this foo-foo uh, chef. <coughs> so, we got our lemon, which we're going to use for our zucchini. Okay. Which I'm getting ready to chop up. Right? Did we use uh, Zataran Jack? Yeah, oh yeah. Nope, never enough. Always Zataran. need more. Got to step back real fast. We got something going on over here. Look at it, folks. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, baby. Yeah, that's some yeah. caramel. They're doing all right. You know what? At this point, because I don't really want diced tomatoes in here. We want to save those for like last, huh? No, I want to. I want to or, stew them. Want, oh, okay. I want to stew them. Make them real soft. I want to break them down. Stew them up. Is Nick playing in my pan again? Oh man, I knew he was gonna yell at me. He's playing in my pan again. Apologies, sir. I'm just learning. <laughs> you know what? If he didn't commentate, he'd be my sous chef. He'd have all this shit done already. Ooh. So, get a bowl for the zucchini. You yes. don't need a lot. Gonna cook it just like I did the asparagus on, uh, what, I think, Steak Au Pas, episode four. We're not going to blanch three. it. We're definitely not going to blanch it. Or the <laughs> potatoes. You know what? Let's get the potatoes going right yeah. now. Yeah. Get our demi put to the side. Because I'm going to slow cook these potatoes like you ain't never seen in your life. You definitely need more butter. It's going to be better than fried potatoes. You definitely need more butter. <clears throat> Yeah. About a half stick of butter to start with. Sorry folks, you know what? When you have a four course meal, it takes more than four minutes. And a lot of butter. And a lot of butter. <laughs> Thank God we got the time and the butter. And that's six favorite game. So when he played on me last week. <laughs> Oh, we're just having fun, folks. <laughs> if you don't know, oh, for that one, he, he cup checked me. He's playing, he's playing. He cup checked me, yeah, so. Yeah, no, I didn't. I'm he's playing, playing. I'm playing in no, his food now. <laughs> well, butter's going back in the fridge. Ooh, I can't wait. So, get that out of the way. Ron, really hope to see you soon, bro. It's weird, you, know, you always show up. And other than myself, I would call you my numero uno fan. And I ain't seen you in two weeks. I pray to God I'll see you tomorrow. So, How are we going to chop this up? About the same way I did the potatoes. Just a nice little rustic chop. I like fat pieces. As I can never emphasize enough, always have a sharp knife. Never want a dull knife. A sharp knife will cut your hands, but a dull knife will rip your hands. And it's better to be cut than ripped. Blunt force trauma sucks. And we're not going to eat a lot of zucchini because <clears throat> we're not healthy eaters. Yeah. But we're going to have some zucchini and show you how to cook it up properly. I love zucchini. But there's only two of us. So, Masia, <clears throat> got a lot of zucchini left over. Better see a loaf of bread pretty soon. Let me know when I can drop it off. You know what my favorite gourd is, Ron? Gourd. Acorn squash. Acorn squash. Yeah. I like to cut it in half. Put a, probably about three or four tablespoons of butter in the middle of it. My mom Each would of put, them. Put sausage, Salt. In, sausage in the side. Sausage? Of it. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then tomatoes. Becoming a sauce, just like water. I don't want diced tomatoes. So again, it's going to be somewhat a one-pot method. I'm going to make room here for a minute. Because I got steaks to cook. And I don't want to lose none of that good flavor out of that pan. Got my butter going here for my potatoes. Which we need to season the pan with real fast. Same as always. 
Little Tony Z's. Yeah, a bit of salt. Zatarans. Ooh. God bless you, Justice. Look, I'm playing again. Yeah, he's playing. I ain't, I'm, I'm playing. Say nothing. I'm playing knows. again. Nothing. I had a little bit of this you garlic. Know, it's a lot harder than you think to uh. Just watch it. No, oh, like, shoot. like stir it and hold the, the camera. Pan down a little bit, folks. Don't okay. want to burn nothing. Uh, I gotta chill this pan. Stir that up a little bit. Work on that for a minute. Oh, now he wants me to cook. Yeah. I got no food cap. <laughs> that one guy never replied. Moby Spay? If anybody else wants to apply, feel free. That job is wide open. And uh, we pay zero dollars an hour. Yeah. <laughs> for free and fun. We play poker too, so you could probably win something. I don't know. I'm a shark. Not off me. I'm a shark. Bring, bring a lot. Bring a lot. All right. I'm wrapping up this bread or this zucchini. Hoping I see Mafia soon making some bread, which I doubt. Oh, she'll do it. Not probably not off this. I don't, probably won't see her for a while, but you better make bread, girl. I gotta get busy because otherwise the pan is definitely hurting us. So, yeah. think, if you don't mind, pull a little bit, uh, I'll put the cold butter in there, chill it down. Yeah. The pan is way too hot, even though I turned it down, it very evenly, retains its heat, begin, uh, those taters will stir. Ooh, gotta stir taters. Ooh. Alright, I'm about to get busy, folks. If it's not working, you know, Vic, stand back, stand back, stand back, stand back. Hey we man, I got the camera. Going. We gotta get this going. To get That's a going. half stick, folks. Okay, half, half stick, stick of butter right there. Gonna serve it perfect. So I, I believe we missed the uh, dredging part last time. So I got four steaks done. As you see, the main thing is they're gonna braise. So, but get the blood out. How's George doing, Vic? Oh, you know what? Don't pass out before dinner, bro. We're gonna eat. Hey, chill out. Speak. George! Chill out, brother. Wake up. I got coffee. I got coffee. I'll get you a cup of coffee on the next break. Already you made, break. baby. Get you a cup of coffee on the next You're tied, dude. Look at, look at his tie. You were totally out of whack tonight, George. Oh, man. The first, I, lady, the first lady ain't gonna like that. I expect <clears> more <throat> out of you, George. I thought you were a fine man. <laughs> I'm not saying you're not, but I thought you were finer than that. You can be fine like this. Mm. Mm. Snazzy, as Vic likes to say. It's right here, folks. Sorry. <laughs> you have a when you're 54, talk to me. <laughs> as Vic likes to say, the old man, the dementia kicks in sometimes. Senile. Senile. He's got all them bad things working against them. There we go. And we got them all dredged. Right now, they're all dredged. They're doing their thing. The potatoes, show them the potatoes. They stir them up for them. I can guarantee they're brown a little bit. All yeah. right. Got to let Vic play. You got to play. You got to learn. You got to learn what I'm doing. Oh, you see that? Look at that. They're definitely changing color. A lot of people, no name dropping, would probably put paprika on them. Because they'll change color quick, but a guy like me, I don't know what Vic's doing with a spoon. My cast, it was a my, fork. My Griswold, a fork, stainless steel. It's in because in my fine Griswold number ten right. big block. Look, you took the roux spoon away from me. I him. never took nothing away from him. Yeah, you put it on the cutting board. It's all right here. Show me steak, Vic. Ooh, all this is already, it's already won. It's already water. We got four more to work on, and we still have more to cook. So don't even worry about that. Yeah, Don't worry about the the red. Nobody's here. Even better. Needs more for me. Oh Vic. yes, I love eating. If you don't know me, I love to eat. You don't know Vic. I'll eat anything, as long as it tastes good, I guess. Nah, uh, he'll pretty. But much everything good. really tastes good is, if you cook it right. He'll try anything. I really will. But he knows when Ron's cooking it, it's gonna come out right. It's always good. So this is an aluminum pan. Again, I prefer to use a roof. 
Isn't that it's a, a Nordic Wear, right? Nordic Wear. Thank you, Minnesota. 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 Welcome home, eh? Hey. All the way in Colorado, you know? Thank you. I have no choice. But to add the mushrooms because they also need to bring all their flavor out. And you gotta get them nice and tender. Yeah, as they will be. Somewhere in there. There's a button. The magic mushroom. Just one, baby. Come get it. Come Just get it. Just one. Yep. I don't even know where it's at. Oh, I see it. I see it. Is it? I'm gonna hide oh, it. I'm gonna hide it. I'm gonna hide it. There it is. Right there. Right there. Nope. Watch this. Nope. There it is. There it goes. There it goes. Ah. There it goes. There it goes. Good luck, mushroom. So we're doing water right now, folks. I mean, Swiss steak. It, I mean, where does that all, saying come from? Water. Be like water. Bruce Lee, baby. Bruce Lee. Whole book on it. It's you gotta read it. Must read. read it. Must it's read. Really easy. Once you learn it, your life will become easier. Yep. I'm, I'm trying to learn it. If and you, you know what? I'm gonna learn it. If you want to succeed in your life, you gotta be like water. Ed Gold. Go with the flow. Ed Gold, my man. Thank you for the book today. Thanks for your thoughts, your prayers, your love. You haven't watched the show yet, but next time I see you, it says you got to watch it on email for some reason. I don't know. Ed is a good man. He's older than me, believe it or not. Oh, yeah. Much older. That's freaking old. But, yeah, we got to get everything going, folks. I mean, it's all coming together. Oh. Trust me. Trust me. You know what? Shout out to Ed's mother. She's 101. 101 today. years old today. Mrs. Gold, God bless you. That's right. It's her 101st God birthday. God bless you for bearing such a good child. Beautiful fine soul. Fine man. Fine man. Mm. We always give shout out. Steve, look at those taters, bro. Look at, look that. at that. You see that? Oh, my goodness. And I'll be honest. I've never in my life made potatoes like this. Like I say, most people would blanch them. No name dropping tonight, folks. No <laughs> name dropping. But most people would blast them. We're trying something new. I'm just, I'm just going to. And I already know it's going to be yeah. delicious. Look at that. It's like I woke up this morning. I was like, well, i got to cut the taters and black. No, I don't. All I taters do is... soaked in butter. You got, ponies. You got good cast oh, iron. Oh, my well, We're not done. We're going to season them with one more. A little bit I, more. I can't even see no black pepper in there. Man. No, you got definitely more cracked black. I can't even see the black pepper in there. We've already done the TLC. We need more cracked black. TLC's right. TLC does not leave the dish. It stays Ooh. with it. Getting, even, some, getting the wrist work out today, folks. The wrists are fine, folks. The wrists are fine. The, the wrists, wrists are fine. fine. As always, you know what? Let's go back to the Swiss steak. Oh, oh, some more crack back on this. More right everything. Top, more baby. everything. More everything. But always fresh crack black. And as you will see in a minute, those mushrooms, boomers, they will be incorporated. You know, folks, I'm sorry. If I go overboard with the black pepper, it's not possible. So don't it's worry about it. never overboard. You know, the I'm way we make... you all a trick. <laughs> you come back. I'm going to show you all a trick. What I'm going to do right now, give the steaks a nice turn. Got to get that blood out of there. When you, when you're uh, braising things, make sure you cook the blood out. Always find the hot spot on the pan because there's, there's always a certain hot spot. Unless you're cooking with cast iron on one burner, this is mainly a two burner pan. But we're just using one. I don't know why. Vic didn't turn the other one on. That's probably why. Oh man. Slacking. Slacking. Again. Need a new sous chef. Put your apps in. Dial 911. I want to be like you. Hey, so we're flambéing this, huh? We're going. Vic, you're. I'm just curious. You I love like that. Be curious. I love that. We'll see you back in like, let's say, I'm going to get these mushrooms very incorporated, very important. And yeah, Vic ruins the surprise. Oh, shit. We're going to flambe it. We're going to flambe it. Over here, as you see, the one pot method, as we like to do. But since we're doing four courses, we get to have another pot right here. We're going to break out the uh, Sydney O. For the zucchini and cook it just like we did the asparagus, real basic and simple. Look at that steak, folks. Mm. And if you're on that guy's budget, which I'm not, but I plan on being, I always get the cube steaks. Thick one halfers. Otherwise, I was gonna buy chuck steak and pound the hell out of it. 
But Vic Lynn Halfers, so we're having good old fact. If you're gonna do it right, do it right. Yep. Cube steaks is the only way to go. Even though most of y'all never had Swiss steak, I'd probably say 90% of y'all, because I know not many people do it anymore, and everybody I told about, no, I never heard of that. We tried to buy some, it's obviously, obviously from Switzerland, so we tried to buy some Scandinavian bread, but. They didn't have it. it so we went with good old fashioned Italian. And soft butter. Soft butter, baby. Things are about to happen. Give me three minutes. And probably be, some garlic. I'll be right back, folks. Give me three minutes. Peace. Show them the pot, Vic. Ooh. The one pot method. We got our very caramelized onions, our stewed tomatoes. We got one right here on top of the steak. Somewhere inside there, we got the magic mushroom. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see it. Look at that. Oh, We're going to lose it. We're going to lose it again. Goodbye. Only, only the good luck, guys. Look at that. Cover it, cover it up, cover it up. Yep. Don't even see it. Don't even, don't even worry about it. It's in there. If it's meant to be yours, meant like I said, very important. If it's meant to be, meant to be. Get that blood out. Get that be. blood out. <laughs> Ron told me he wanted it. Jason, wanted I wish you were here for the dish, bro. We talked earlier. I said <clears> I just got the tape. And Greg. You better come see us again. Everybody said you were the rock star last week. Let's do a little update on these uh, taters. Taters. Let's look at the taters again. It's doing exactly. I got it on like number three. Very low number heat. Number three. Because the steaks are going to braise for about an hour, which I'm not going to bore you all with. I'm showing you what's going on. We got our caramelized mushroom, stewed tomatoes, incorporated the uh, caramelized onions, stewed tomatoes, incorporated the mushrooms. There and we we're frying the hell out of these potatoes. Oh, they're gonna be. They're not even close to being done. They're gonna be delectable. They, like I said, I've never done this before, but I know what I know. All right. And these are gonna be good, Shannon. Try these fried potatoes, girl. So everyone knows there's a break coming up. There's a break. But, uh, we're gonna how, play some poker. How long is that? Well, we're gonna do a uh, Vic ruin the surprise. Oh man! Here yeah. we go, folks. Uh, might need some help open the wine, Vic. Oh man, I only got one hand. That's all you need. Hold you on. Right. We got it steak. open. <laughs> Normally in Swiss steak, you use red wine. Why waste a bottle of red wine when I got some fine Taylor Marcella? The deglaze, the most important part of the dish. Bringing all that flavor up to the top. Flambe it up, Vic. Show them what's going on. Oh no. No, nah, show them. It's working. There we go. Not as good. There's a lot in the don't, stew. Don't need a lot. Don't need a lot. Just good flavor. Oh it's, my lord. Oh look, now it's spreading. God, I surprised myself. Now it's spreading. Work it around, Vic. Work it around. Become one. Become water. Quick waste of mushroom. Oh man, Eat. give me that. I want that. Oh. Nope, not a waste. Ooh, taste that Marcella. Yeah. Mmm. Vic's kind of confused over here. Look, it's the camera. It's the camera. It's the camera. He's only got two hands, eh? It's not like he's an alien or nothing. We still got a little flambe going on. Gonna shut that down. And I'm gonna add, as I said, had to go to Whole Foods because Walmart, Safeway, it's hard to find. Whole Foods, they got everything. So we got us some uh, demi glaze. Some and, demi glaze. Uh, taste is better. The paste. I mean, the powder ain't bad, but if you're gonna do it right, do it right, or don't do it at all. So we're gonna yeah. add our demi. And what's that? About a quart, a quart and a half? About that much. All right. About a quart and a half, folks. Just about that much. Yeah. Made too much, as always. Never know who's coming over. The heathens aren't coming overnight. Patrick, <laughs> coming over. See you yeah. next time, son. See yeah. you next time, son. You know I love you. <clears throat> You know, I wouldn't call a pastor uh, unless I love you. You're not stupid, boy. You're my oh, best friend. Man. Love you, Jeremiah. Oh, I gotta give that Vic's a smack. Big plan, big plan, big plan. I gotta give that a smack. Yeah, we gotta work that in. It's gotta, like, totally there work in. Yeah, yeah. Because we're not gonna touch it again for about an hour. Yep. We're gonna let, I mean, yeah, work so, in there really good. We're just gonna leave it on, uh, what what temperature? This, this What's seven that? and a half? Yeah. Trying to get it hot. All right, we're gonna leave it at seven and a half on the stove. That was flambeing though. So as of right now, mm -hmm. might as well turn it off because we're done with all that. It's about to go into the oven, eh? Yep. At 
370 for one hour. Watch this. 365. Oh, 365, folks. That's the magic number. Oh, yes. Unfortunately, I have yet to find the lid for my paella pan. Look at those. Which I'm definitely on a search for. So, thank God I got some aluminum foil. We're going to cover the pan up nice thick. Got to get over here to the uh, Swiss steak. Look at it now, folks. You got to keep that heat in there. Look at it now. Wait till you see it in about 45 minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to take about $20 off Vic playing poker. Yeah, he because wishes. We can't eat yet, so we're going to play poker. We're going to enjoy each other's company. Probably listen to the Prince videos and have just a good, yes, sir. wholesome time. Y'all come back and join us for dinner. Like I say, as far as my time goes, I'll see you in 45. Your time, 45 seconds. Come back and see us. Sydney. Wagner, where's Sydney O? Like I said, back in 1885, they knew my daughter was going to be such a special person named Pan after her. And she's going to be the last touch of the dish tonight. Ooh, and we and just added another half stick. I know what's going over there. Oh, okay. Still got the potatoes going. I turned the steaks off. They're like doing their thing right now. Becoming one, becoming water. Ooh. And this is for the zucchini. Zucchini. Yes. Always need a lot of butter for zucchini. It's like a sponge. I mean, it just soaks everything up. Unless you fry it. But I'm not frying it. I thought about making ratatouille. But I'm kind of lazy, so I'm making the sautéed zucchini. <laughs> As you see, nice rustic chop. I'm not going to eat a lot of zucchini. Vic doesn't see... Whoop. I love zucchini. zucchini I'm eating that over. one. What one? The one that you one. just dropped. Alright, so there's no <laughs> seasoning on zucchini so far. As always, we'll start and finish. With good old fashioned McCormick's black pepper. Crack black. Don't get no better. Don't get no better. And as always, never enough, folks. Enjoy it. Make sure you get the fresh corns on the bottom. They seem to dry a bit. Bring them up top. Crack them in. Probably use a little bit more. But we're going to mess up on the closest. Fabulous Tenzi's minced garlic up a little bit. And uh, for you folks at home, that was about 30 twists of the wrist oh, on that cracked black. Where'd the garlic go? Oh man, you used it all? So we got the, uh, the granulated, right? No. We got no? more Tenzi's. Oh. Uh, we're using the powder? Yeah, where's it at? Granulated yeah. garlic powder. All right. From Pansies, way back in Minnesota, eh? You can also get it in Wisconsin. But other than Minnesota, Wisconsin, or here at Righteous Ron's house, you're probably not going to find it. And when you're cooking zucchini, you want a lot of garlic. Not much more. Yeah, it's about a bit, about a teaspoon, folks. Well, a little bit more than that. Oh. More teaspoon more, and more a bam! Teaspoon, yeah. <laughs> he called me out. Bam! What's that? Yeah, oh, some more, oh, some more garlic, huh? Show me taters, Rick. Ooh. These my. things have been going for like an hour and a half. Slow roasting. Look at that. No blanching. No blanching. I wish you could smell this. Nice skill. I mean, yeah, I wish you could. We're going to get smell of it, you folks. We're. I don't know if anybody's selling yet, or it's, if it, they're not, they shouldn't invent it. It's priority number yeah. one. Yeah, you gotta have smell of it. Right? Oh my. Oh, oh my, my goodness. Oh, we got justice. Oh, another look at that soft butter. Some justice in here. Justice for the zucchini. Steaks are already off. So you warm in the oven. More justice on the taters. Ooh. Let's have a look at that. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Take a look at that. Yes. 
Take a look at that. Oh, I wish you could smell that too. You will. As right soon there. as you make it. As always, we'll zat around on the zucchini. Just a wee bit, folks. Not two tastes. Lot. Two tastes. Not a lot. Only two tastes. And since I brought my old friend Tony Z home tonight, we got her bringing a little Tony Z to the table. Two tastes. However much you like. Yeah. These potatoes are just taking off. Look at oh, that. Man. Look at that, dude. I'm ready. Anymore. What happened? We got the zucchini sauteing, garlic, as always, a little bit more black pepper. As I said, never enough, never enough cracked black. For you folks at home, that was about 35 more cracks of that. Johnny, I'm sorry. You're part of the show tonight, but we're not supposed to be playing you. We'll edit that too. Not. Not. <laughs> we really don't care. Last week we had live music. You know what? We tried to cut out a lot of prints. We did cut out a lot of prints tonight, but... Johnny's on right now, and we just can't help ourselves, I guess. Yeah, so, so apparently you got to wait 70 you. years. Yeah, 70 years. See ya. Not. Yeah. Not. I won't be here for that. Maybe 70 years ago, but not today. So I'm just working this in. I mean, it's like, you don't want much. I mean, zucchini is one of those things, like... A little bit of crisp. Yeah, but... You gotta steam it up a little bit too, so. What we got that lemon for? Yeah, they, they got ahead of himself earlier. A little lemon. That's all you need. A little bit of lemon. Just to steam it up. Give it a little uh, zang. There we go again. Oh, yeah. Toss it up. Toss it up. Alright. Folks, it's like ready. Zip. Miss the one thing. Tater tater done. Look at that. Show, show them tater that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. What a my thing. goodness. Michelangelo. I'm drooling. Did you possibly paint a picture like that? Good luck with that. Look at that. Oh, yes. Like I said, sometimes I amaze myself, and like I said, I've never done this with potatoes before, but this is going to be the stuff right here. Today's the day, baby. Dreams. Turn it off. This is what dreams are made of. They're going to cook for a minute. They're done. Come back to the zucchini. One more toss. Pretty much Ooh. done. Turn that off, too. Oven's off. Folks, give me two minutes. Plate up time. As you see, the Swiss steak, which has been off for like 30 minutes, still simmering down. And that's mushrooms. From, straight from the oven. Yeah, like I said, it's been like a our longest show ever. As far as you folks go, probably your longest show ever too, but it's going to be well worth Try the dish. Steve, try. go to Whole Foods. Demi Glaze. I wrote it down for you today, bro. Get you some demi glaze. It makes all the difference in the world in a nice dish. I'm gonna look at the taters. I thought, I'm like I said, never did this before. But you know what? I'm glad I didn't. And let me try the zucchini. I gotta try one of these. Oh. Yeah, holy cannoli, right? Wow. Oh. Wow. You know what? Oh, you know, we still have to do this. We gotta break yeah. some bread. You know what? As Vicky always says, there's nothing like rice is wrong and breaking bread, but whenever George, you're dropping your drinks. Alcohol abuse. Alcohol abuse, bro. Hold on. Straighten your tie up. We're about to have dinner, alright? Chill. Break some bread, Vic. You gotta hold it. I gotta 
Oh, yes. We like the butt pieces. Oh. Some good bread broken. Vic broke the bread. I'll that. butter. I'll butter the bread. Oh yeah. It's the best piece of the bread. Mm. Always soft butter, baby. I always gotta have your soft butter. Ooh. That looks. Sorry, Johnny. Fantastic. We're not trying to make money off your music. We just forgot to push pause. No copyright. No we copyright. We don't claim it. We don't want no money from you, John. You sorry, get, you gave sorry us brother. Enough. Don't you gave us it. enough. Look at that. Oh, man. Freaking butter everywhere, bro. And still got more. Still got more butter. So we got the butter. We're doing the plate up real fast. Yeah. Got a lot of hot pans going on back here, so I got to be real careful. Real careful. We're going to start with the taters. Taters. Please serve me up. Nice helping. You got that roux spoon. I don't know if you're going to be able to... No. Switch up. Here we go. My daughter Victoria made this for me. It's got the pea sang and the cast iron skillet. That's right. God bless you, girl. Oh, yes. Your victim taters. Mm. A little zucchini. Oh, give me that. I definitely want that. Oh, let's see if it gets the button. The magic mushroom. Oh. It's always a surprise. Let's see where it's at. Uh, good looking poker. What steak you want, Vic? Uh, this is good. Steak top right. left. Top left. Over here. Yeah. Oh Lord, Look at them onions. Oh yeah. Some more of them onions. Like I said very key to the dish. No button yet. No button. I ain't seen it yet. I'll try it one more time. Up. Oh. No button. Looks like the button might That's be all right, right. There. all right, folks. We'll be right back with the tasting. All right, folks. Taste we're, time. We're back. I'm it's gonna taste with, time. With these but zucchini. hold on. First off, look at that. The cross again. Beautiful. Turquoise. All silver, baby. Breaking bread, brother. How's that zucchini? Zucchini's great, but I've really been working on this steak for like two hours, so. It's got to be good. I want to see how it's safe turned oh, out. Oh, it's got to be good. I already know, but I want to see. Mm. Mm. Yeah? You like that? Hold on. Let me get a piece. Where the bread comes in. Let me get a piece of steak going. Mm. Look, you just cut that with the fork right there. Hmm. You know what, folks? Steve, do it just the way I showed you, as you tried with the Barcelona, but you forgot about the Demi Glaze, but mm. get the Demi. You'll be married in a week, like I said. Mm. She will love you over and over again. Oh, that's wonderful, man. Mm. I love that. Mm. Ooh. Taters. Oh, yeah, let me get one of them. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna hold a whole fork full. Okay. They're good. <laughs> Say good night. Alright, folks. I'm out. Ron's out. We'll see you next week. Hopefully, Kelly, be at your stand. Better be watching the show, girl. Peace.